Okay guys, so it is the butt crack of, uh, of 4 p.m. I just woke up and I got mail. What's that? Bills. Bills. Go that another day. All right. Got stuff to do. Gonna see about going to the metal store and uh, buying some metal for a project. Uh, and I gotta turn my truck around. I'm gonna take the trailer so I can get, uh, um, I like to buy the metal in uh, uncut pieces. So, you know, determines what I'm, what I'm gonna need. I cut it myself. And in the long run, I guess it's cheaper because I'll have extra material. I like that a lot. Let's see if Russ is gonna knock. Nope. Oh, there it is. Little lifter tick. My truck. My good truck. And we got a wild kitty. He thinks I don't see him. He thinks he's slick. He's staring right at me. I think, uh, I think those round tube is like uh, 24 feet or 20 feet, something like that. And I gotta get some square tube for, uh, I'm gonna mount my bender. I got a Woodward Fab um, tubing bender. I'm gonna mount that to the table, but I'm gonna do it in a kind of a detachable mounting situation. And hopefully that, uh, hopefully that works out good. See if I can strong arm this thing over. Whew. Almost pooped myself. All right, we are metal store bound. Not been a little rusty here. Ah, scare going. Oh, any gas? Holy crap. Got a Ferrari. Nice. Nice. Dude, just chilling on the truck. <laughs> That's how you have 150 right there. It's supposed to be where the new bridge is gonna be. The new uh, the new harbor bridge. All the, the ground tour up. It's pretty, pretty hectic out here right now, especially when I'm working. The, uh, this this highway is all jacked up, probably for the next couple years. So I just got my medals at the metal store. Make sure everything's tied up nice and tight. See if I can stab the stab my tailgate. Yeah. Alright. Hit the road. Time. The truck's not sounding happy. But exit Chadway. I'm gonna go see what's up with uh see what's up with my lunch now. Ah fuck me. Yeah. It's the old fruit, mate. Alright, we made her. 
pipe made her too. Got my pipe. She made the trip, boys. We're good. We are freaking good. I got plates. Got some flat plate and uh, some square that's gonna go into that square right there. Shop. Let's see how much of a wreck I left it because I left it pretty bad. That's not too bad. Just gotta put the power washer away and uh, get the right bearing. The bearing. I don't know. The bearing kit they got. I got is uh, wrong, so I had to order another one. That'll be here tomorrow. Get my washer back together. But yeah. Um, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, I'm going to clean up. Let's clean up. The first macaroni heart attack. That is like the largest cup of macaroni I have ever seen in my life. It's freaking delicious. But I got all my pipe here. Uh, everything's inside. There's my, uh, my test pipes. My, uh, uh, I got one and three quarter die, but this is one and five eighths, the big one here. It was the closest thing they had, so I'm gonna figure out, see if, if that'll bend with that one and three quarter without any issues, but I got some one inch uh, uh, OD, and that's one and five eighths OD. So hopefully uh, I got a one inch die and I got a one and three quarter inch die. I don't know if I showed you, showed you them. My, my one and three quarter die, and my one inch die is here's the little baby. There's uh there's part of it. Oh, there it is. It's uh over there by the bender. Yeah. My one inch. Anyway, and there's my bender. My uh Woodward fab, uh whatever model, blah blah blah. So the idea is I don't wanna permanently mount the thing to the table because then you know I have to take these two bolts off every time I wanna the table space so my idea was to get a receiver hitch and this is actually a receiver hitch that i've had i actually found it when i was working in the oil field uh on a lease road it's just sitting there on the ground like buried in mud i picked it up and then you know my uh this shop the that's literally how much weld i could do before the breaker trips you know because of this thick really thick material so yeah, and I am, I'm a better grinder than I am a welder. So, and I'm just using flux core. I got no gas. It's just my basic ass machine. But, uh, yeah, so the plan is weld this guy here. So this guy, this guy will slide in. And originally what I was going to do, originally what I was going to do, I was going to slide this guy through, you know, like, like probably like, you know, something like that. Drill a hole, you know, run a pin just like you would do a trailer hitch. But wondering, you know, I weld this guy up, you know, nice and solid, like big time. And then, you know, down at the bottom, like make this lock up real good. I'm wondering, does it really matter if I mount it, you know, mount the bender here? Or if I meant to mount the bender further out? Because, you know, the other thing I'm worried about, I was like, if it's too close to the table, when I'm bending stuff, the bends, if I'm, especially if it's long pipe, you know, if I got a piece of, you know, long tube, I'm wondering if that's going to be getting in the way of stuff. So what if I actually kept this long, mounted it like way out here, and I got the bender basically out in the middle of nowhere, you know, like I got all this space. To bend pipe. Hmm. Hmm. That might actually be a good idea that I literally just now had while I'm making this video. Because, I mean, I just bought... I cause This was a, a cutoff drop, so I just bought that. It's like a four-foot section almost. So, like, I was just like, yeah, I'll just take the whole piece. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, obviously, you know, I'll, I'll try it this way. And if I feel like it's uh, creating problems as far as like, you know, stressing out over here and like cracking or 
or if I just, you know, straight up break it off, then, you know, I can just always make it short and do it over there. And then I can just pull the pin, slide the whole guy out, put it under the table, put it away somewhere where it's, you know, cause I mean, I'm not gonna be bending metal every single day. It'd be nice, I mean, that'd be cool, but. Huh. I gotta think about it. I'm gonna have a beer and think. Why is my light on? I don't know. I guess, uh, my, uh, I don't know, this video is gonna be a little out there and different stuff, but uh, not doing anything fun because I'm stuck here working on my washer. I got it, that's my washer from the house, right there. It's, uh, it broke. Um, this guy, the spider arm broke in like three different places. So I had to get a new one, which is like 80 bucks. And then uh, I got the bearing set, but I originally got the wrong set. So I had to order another set. Luckily I looked out, I got the right ones. These are the old ones, they weren't bad. They weren't bad at all, actually. But, uh, you know, if you get in there and you do it, you might as well get new bearings because that's the next thing to fail. So but that just goes to show how cheap I am when it comes to, like, crap I don't really care about. I mean, I do care about clean clothes, but um, I don't want to spend $700 again for another washer when this one, you know, I spent 700 bucks for it like 10 years ago throw another hundred and something bucks at it and maybe get another 10 years out of it. That's the idea. So, uh, yeah. I mean, when it comes to my cars and other stuff, I'll spend the money, but yeah, this, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm cheap when it comes to stuff like this. I'd rather do the work myself and fix it. And I've never taken a washer before apart before. This is the first time for me. So I'm going to get it together and fire it up here at the shop. I'm going to, plug it into the water hose out here and run a quick cycle make sure it's not leaking make sure it's working make sure it's not because it, it was like smoking it was like like it was the the this guy was broke so the barrel was rubbing into the case and it was like gonna catch fire in my house so so yeah i'm not i'm not gonna get in details on fixing it because uh nobody cares about that it's just what i'm doing and and I, I got some progress on the uh, on the, the the mount for the for the uh, bender. Um, oh yeah, and I dropped the uh, motor on the. This is the washer's motor. I dropped it off the table and uh, broke uh, broke one of the magnets. So I super glued that guy back on. Should be good, right? And then also. So these guys got broken and I kind of glued them back on and, but then they moved, which is really weird, but they shouldn't interfere with anything. It should work. At least, at least that's the hopes. And this guy's like, I think it's like 200 and something bucks if it is bad because I dropped it. So, I mean, I'm already this far into it and that's not hard to change. It just comes off the back. Like it's not, you don't got to take it apart like I did this, but. Anyways, that's what I'm doing. That's uh, basically just my night, my last night. All right, so let's find out if uh, if I'm an idiot or I did something good. Step right. Here it goes. I'm gonna get way back. It's pulling water. Make sure it's not leaking. She's rotating. So far, so good. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and record this for 28 minutes, but uh, when I guess when it drains, we'll make sure that there's no leaks or anything. And I'll put the covers on and hopefully dope. 